What is the difference between living and existing? Existing is what you, what generally you do in your early part of your life and living as you grow helps you learn to live life better. We existed early part of a life because, you know, that's, we started out with almost nothing and, and, and was able to luckily, you know, and on our own work hard, uh, experience a better life. So, so I think we live in a better life. What makes you special? I'm not special. I can't tell you that I'm special. I, I'm a good person, but I'm not a special person. What do you love most about yourself? That I help a lot of people, that I've always done things for other people that, you know, not necessarily for money or anything like that, is because I enjoyed life, you know. And so I've always been a kind of a volunteer, sometimes too much. Are you proud of yourself? Very much. I couldn't, I don't think I've ever hurt anybody, done anything wrong. I've been, I feel like a, a good, good person most of my life, you know. I mean, there's always, always things that you say, well, that's, that's something maybe you should have done, but, but I don't never think I've done anything that's been bad enough to, I think I've been a, a good person, yes. What's one thing you would change about yourself? Just be a, a better person, you know. I mean, there's other things I probably could have done, could have been a far, far better father. You know, I, I worked second shift most of my kid's life, and, and uh, you know, it was their mom that helped, you know, do most of the things that I, uh, I could have done, uh, but, you know, money was a driving factor, so, so I think that, if anything, I could have been a better father. What would you consider to be your deepest fear? Going broke. I mean that I I would say that's that if anything going broke. I see a lot of people that's has has nothing and what they're going through. I just don't want to have to go through what they're going through. So you know that if 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 I'm going to experience fear, that's going broke. What do most people get wrong about life? Not trying to enjoy life. I'm a positive person, so I think tomorrow's going to be a better day. So, what do you think instilled that in you? Well, a lot, a lot of it's my own family. You know, my own mom and dad. You know, they were both positive people. My dad was a he was a good dad to me. Uh, both parents were were excellent parents. Uh, the only thing that I I just can't remember either both of them, you know, actually sure and love more than, I mean, they were good parents, but not parents that were huggers or, you know, something like that. But that's something I've, I've hoped I, we've instilled in, in our families anyway, uh, is to be in, trying to be as lovable as you can be, so... What do you wish you did more of in your life? I can't say enjoy life because I think we, I think I have, I've enjoyed life more. I guess love my family more. You know, I mean, like I said, early part of it, uh, Money was more important than than family was, I guess. Uh, it wasn't, but but it really nowadays it 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 seems like 
I didn't get to see most of my kids either way grow up in school, and and uh, that was their mom's uh, part of it. She did a great job. So that's. What do you wish you would have done less of? Hate somebody. You know, I mean, I don't like the word hate, but probably didn't didn't like somebody. And less of, I don't know. I just say hate. I don't want to, and I don't like the word hate. I don't use it anymore. What kind of people did you hate? What kind of people did I hate? Uh, people that was helped tear up this, this country and, and and especially what happened here with these Americans that called themselves Americans that went to the White House and tore it up just for uh, a crazy reason, but. What do you think a younger version of yourself would think of you now? I would hope to think that uh, my younger version would say, he did a damn good job. That's, that's what I would say. I did a good job. What would you say to a younger version of yourself? Grow up. Learn more things. Get better education. You know, I I just had high school, and then I had a year of in the hills. But I wished I I had more education. So education today is the most important thing you can have. Can you pinpoint the moment of your life where you were the happiest? Hmm. I guess when we got married, we had we've had a great life. You know. I mean, we we started out slow, but through life we we took one day at a time and and uh, got to learn to like you know like each other better. And you know, when you when you first get married, you don't you think you love, but it's it's later in life is when you love yourself or love your partner more much more. So, I I would say that's. That's my version of it, I guess. When have you felt the lowest? Hmm. I guess the lowest in my life would be the two times that we lost my, my dad, her dad. Uh, her dad because he was so young. My dad because he was my dad, you know. You know, you when they're when they're gone, they're gone, and they never come back. So, so that's and on her mom, her mom had a disease that it took her fifteen years of sadness. You know, everybody. I mean, it was a bad deal. You know, it was it's worse than cancer in a lot, a lot of ways because she never was able to speak, do anything. So. I didn't really, I felt more joyful than sorrow for her death. Is there anything that you wish you would have done or conversations you would have had with your parents? More of. You know, I spent a lot of time with my, I have no regrets with my folks because, you know, I we spent a lot of time with them and not enough with dad because, you know, uh, you just never feel like you've had it. That last good conversation, even though my dad really was telling me things that I was too young and too dumb to, to realize that he knew that he was dying, but uh, and 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 my dad honestly went the best way you could possibly. He went, laid in his bed. Mom was at church. Uh, and he just passed away peacefully. So, but yes, I would like many conversations more with him. What was your wildest dream? Mm -hmm. 
a Wallace dream, a pair of shoes. That's my Wallace dream, I guess. They'd have to push me out. Uh, but I think I think to see see the world from up there, it'd be uh, pretty pretty unique. But like I said, they'd, they'd have definitely have to push me out. So, what goals do you have left to complete? I don't know if I I can complete any more goals that I I tried to. Just live, live, leave, leave a better life, and or and be a better person. I guess that's my only. I mean, at my age, there's not many goals to accomplish. So, uh, just be as good a person I can be. That's that's the best I can do. What are the three best decisions you ever made? Well, first of all, getting married, having kids. Going to In and Hills, getting a better job, having a job that just throwed it, threw me away and threw me out to the worst. But luckily, I had uh, school time with the veterans and and took him took that part of it, and it guaranteed me a, a good job and try to make the most of that. So. That's the three things that I would say my good accomplishments. You know. What was the hardest decision you've had to make? Two things here, you know, when you've been out of out of school for as long as I had and have to go back to like kindergarten and that's kind of where we started having to start out and go back to school and learning all over again and that's and it wasn't easy and like i said my whole life has been that where i went from old to new and the new was really hard to get used to it's it's even harder today you know new technologies for old people is it's hard for us to do you know so what life lesson did you learn the hard way It's all been hard. I guess the hard way is 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 work. You know, work was hard. You know, it was a struggle. You know, going from old to new, I and mean, it was a real. That was my hardest. You know, learning something brand new again. But I I got it. Got through it, and got have people that was good teachers and. And that was, that was the main thing, you know. I wish I had a better, better student in school. I didn't really plan on going to service. There just wasn't any any good opportunities for me to have, and so service was a. It was a great teacher. Uh, it was a hard hard way to learn, but it was it was a good teacher. So. Yeah, but I wish I would have been a better student. Where have you felt the most success? I guess one of my most success is having a good job and and making best best for it from it. You know, we both of us worked hard all our lives, and we felt we've. Felt like we got the rewards after we retired, so because retirement's been good, you know. I I would say for for our retirement, you know, life has been pretty good, you know, because I've never sit still. I don't think you can ever retire, especially at my age when I retired at fifty nine, is to stop and do nothing. Uh, I work piddly jobs, and I work this. The big reward for mine is 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 doing the uh, uh, veterans taking them to and from. It was a challenging job, but but it was real rewarding in, in a lot of aspects. So, what age would you like to live to? 
as long as my body will allow me to. You know, I have I have no I have no time limit. Uh, as long as I'm healthy, I can. If I'm just going to be able to sit in a chair and wish my life away, I don't want I don't want to go. I want to, like I say, go peacefully, you know, or any any good way. <laughs> There's no good way, but now, if you ask me, am I am I scared to die? Not 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 right now, but I've never been. You know, if a doctor told me, you know, obviously you got to be scared that you only got limited amount of time. So uh, I don't know. You, it's easy to say one thing and and, and know a, a different answer. So, what's one thing left on your bucket list? What's one thing left? Parachute. <laughs> That's uh, that's the best I can come up with, but but the odds of me ever doing it is is very slim. So, I I because I got to go. I mean, there's there's places pretty close by that I probably could go and and do it. But you know, George Bush did it at what ninety years old. So you know, I'm just seventy eight. So I'm pretty healthy. You know. But like I said, they'd have to push me out. So, because if you've got a buddy, they're going to push you out. You know. No, there's nothing else in my bucket list. That, I mean, uh, there's a lot of things that that I I I would say that I'd like to do, but unlikely ever to do. So, what huh? What are a few? Go to Alaska. Go fishing. Go up where the, you know, I love the, the crab fishermen. Go up to, and and see some of them big crabs that I see, that I wouldn't buy at Costco because they're too outrageous. So, we love crabs. So, you know, go to go to Alaska and eat some of them big crab. You know. But probably never. What do you think happens after you die? <laughs> what happens to me when I die? Well, I, I hope the. I'm good enough to go to heaven. You know, we never know what reality is like. You know, I, I'm, I'm open to admit I'm not a churchgoer because I don't believe in, a lot of the situations. But, but I feel like I'm as good as most that do go. So. Uh, I hope that God takes my spirit, but I'll be still be in a casket, in a big box, agency. So that's that's what I know. Though I don't know after that. What life lessons do you want to pass on to those you leave behind? Take life and do it. In in a in a honest, hardworking, that helps themselves out. Like say, be honest with them, you know, with this whole life thing, and 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 like I said, try to be as good a person as you could be. So that's that's about the only thing I can come up for this. <laughs> What are you grateful for? My wife, my kids, my grandkids, my life, opportunities I've had. So that's that's what I'm grateful for. What advice would you give to a teenager today? Stay away from drugs first. And from the foremost, get as much education as you can get. Be a good student if you, and get help if you don't if you need help. Well, that'd be my advice to. But first and foremost, you know, stay away from drugs. 
drugs was never good for anybody. So, What advice would you give to a 30-something today? Start looking for the future. You know, work hard. Find something you, that you're, you got to, you got to have something that you like. You got to have a job that, that, that you actually like. You can't just take a job. What advice would you give to someone in their fifties? Start slowing down and, and, and learn to love life better. You know, understanding that you only got so many good years in your life and, and take the most of it. Because, you know, once you get to a certain point, then then opportunities are going away. So I felt like our 50s were our best life, part of our life. I mean, we, did, we didn't have a lot, lot of time together, but what time we had together, we, we took the most of the opportunity from it. So... Who are you? I'm David Park. I'm 78 years old. I've lived my life great. I've been a, as far as I'm concerned, I've been a good person most of my life. I mean, there's a, oh, there's always been times that I probably did things that I probably shouldn't have done, but I've never done anything bad to anybody. So that's what, that's what you should know about me. I'm just an average Joe Below. Thank you very much. Hey. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> Thank you very much.